in this particular session we will continue with our diva beta scenarios so let's get started for the diva beta application so again i am using my kali linux here and i am also using my android emulator here so let's go with our diva beta application and let's go with the third scenario that we have here so the third scenario was insecure data storage part one let's go with this one and the objective was find out where how the credentials are being stored and the vulnerable code you can relate this one to let's say whenever you log in into any application like you log in into like facebook whenever you enter the username password they will be compared on the server side and then your server will give you a session id those session ids will be stored somewhere here we have to figure out where the sensitive data like your session ids your tokens will be stored and to figure out we need to get with the code so let's first add some values go with a b c d as username and i'll go with one two three four as my password and save these credentials credentials are been saved now let's go with the source code go with your zx here zx hyphen gui go with diva beta application and from here let's go with the same procedure so now this time we have to figure out insecure data like something kind of thing so you can again go with the manifest file or you can directly go towards your jacarasin.dev which contains your different activities out there so here we have our insecure data storage one activity here we'll simply go with the code just follow this location here insecure data storage one activity and this was the source code here so here we have the import classes and libraries here we have the simple declaration for the class here we have the simple on create method and here we have our save credentials method that have been called from your view elements whenever you click on this button here your save credentials method will be executed so under save credentials method we call a class with the name shared preferences right and we simply created an object with the name sp edit share preference editor you can say and we simply define the object here normal scenario but the object name was sp edit that was dealing with your shared preferences if i talk about the locations where you can store your data under this android part you have four major locations where you can store your data the first major location was your shared preference that was again the xml file which contains your inputs or the other tokens and values different things the second location where you can store your data was your database the third location where you can store your data was your temporary files and the fourth location where you can store your data was your external storage so you have these four location where you can store your data or the token or any kind of input output whatever you want you have these four locations so in this particular scenario my data will be stored inside shared preferences we simply call our put string method to add the values on that xml file and here we call this simple function put string to add our data inside that xml file for the username and we got the password in the xml file we always store our data in form of key and the value like you can say uh, we have a variable and the variable name was user and the value will be the input that user will enter this was the variable name user here and a b c d is the value then we got another variable with the name password and the value will be 1 2 3 4 that i have entered here so it always store data in form of key value pairs then again we call the input we simply get the input and convert it into string and then put them inside our xml file then we simply commit those changes and make a simple toast message with the text third party credentials saved successfully and that's all in this particular code right so the data will be stored inside those shared preferences so let's give it a check and go with your terminal so for the shared preferences part if you want to see the data you just have to go with this location like go with simple adv shell first if your device was connected you can directly go with the adv shell otherwise you have to connect your device and then you have to call this adv shell command now as i told you in the previous session 
all of your data all of your application data was stored inside this slash data slash data folder and inside this data data folder we have our application package name so simply go with cd jakar dot asim dot diva because this was the package name and all the folders inside this data data were created with the package name so inside this package name if you go with ls hyphen a l you can see we got a folder with the name shared underscore prefs let's go with this folder cd shared preferences and go with clear first and then let's go with ls hyphen a l and hit enter inside this shared preferences folder we got one more file with the name jacker dot asim dot diva underscore preferences dot xml the extension was xml so let's go with the content here to see the content you can directly go with the cat command to print the content on your terminal go with your file name and hit enter and the content was your key and the value here the key was password and the value was one two three four your key was username or you can see your variable name was user here and the value for the variable was a b c d so again your shared preferences always store your data in form of key value pairs and generally if you are not using any secure shared preference library then it will always store your data in form of plain text and any kind of sensitive data stored into plain text can leak your information so any kind of sensitive data should not be stored in form of your plain text that's your major weakness here instead of this shared preferences class the developer should use secure shared preferences class so the data here should be encrypted all the time which makes it a bit more secure this was your data storage part 1 have a good day and stay connected